Welcome. Get your bird in the air so we can start this PO. Colt 1 1, Colt 2 1, radio check. One, copy. I read you five by five. Skip any checklist items. The bird has to be fully mission operational to pass this performance check.
Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Atumi, Colt, one, one. Request taxi to runway. Atumi, Colt, 1-1, one, one. request takeoff. Colt, 1-1, one, one. Atumi, you are cleared for takeoff and ready. Climb 300 at QSE 29.89. Performance check starts now. Fly heading 300 Angel 6 at 200 knots. The hard deck limit is in effect. Do not go below Angels 5 unless the restriction is terminated. <coughs> Approaching Angels 6, level out and maintain 200 knots. Well done. Maintain 300 Angel 6 at 200 knots.
Turn right to 040, maintain Angel 6 at 200 knots. Good. Maintain 040, Angel 6 at 200 knots. We will need some altitude for the next series of maneuvers. Climb to Angels 10. Level out at Angels 10. Maintain 040 and increase speed to 220 knots. Good. Maintain 040 Angels 10 at 220 knots. You are now entering the military operations area. During the next set of maneuvers, attitude, altitude, and direction of flight will change rapidly. You must exercise extreme caution by ensuring the immediate area is clear of other aircraft and that no danger of mid-air collision exists. A clearing turn allows you to clear the area in which you are operating. You will make two 90-degree clearing turns, one to the left and one to the right. Make a 90 degree left turn and scan the area above and behind your aircraft. Good. Watch for any aircraft in the vicinity and be prepared to abort your maneuvers if necessary. Now make a 90 degree right turn and scan the area above and behind your aircraft. Good. Watch for any aircraft in the vicinity and be prepared to abort your maneuvers if necessary. We will now induce a stall and recovery. Pitch the nose up to 45 degrees until you hear the stall horn and the airspeed drops below 60 knots. Recover the aircraft to level flight before Angels 9. Begin when ready. Good. Maintain this pitch angle until the airspeed drops below 60 knots. Good. Now recover to level flight before Angels 9.
Good, you recovered above the expected altitude. Fly heading 040, Angels 10 at 220 knots. Good, maintain 040, Angels 10 at 220 knots. We will now induce a spin and recovery. Pitch the nose up to 45 degrees until you hear the stall horn and the airspeed drops below 60 knots. Apply right full rudder and pull back on the control stick. Recover the aircraft to level flight before Angels 9. Begin when ready. Good. Maintain this pitch angle until the airspeed drops below 60 knots. Good. Now apply right full rudder and pull back hard on the control stick. Recover before Angels 9. Good. You recovered above the expected altitude. Fly heading 040, Angels 10 at 220 knots. Good. Maintain 040, Angels 10 at 220 knots. Our next maneuver will be a defensive spiral dive, but we need altitude, so climb to Angels 15. Maintain 040, Angels 15, and increase speed to 220 knots. Good. Maintain 040, Angels 15, and 220 knots. Defensive spiral can get you out of a jam when your energy is depleted and you are under attack from another aircraft. The
maneuver consists of dropping the nose low during a turn and going into a spiral dive using gravity to supply the energy needed to continue evasive action. The defensive spiral becomes a rolling scissors performed straight down. Your goal is to stay out of phase with the attacker until the ground is dangerously close. The advantage usually goes to the aircraft that can decelerate quicker. You can cut power and extend the speed brakes in an effort to force an overshoot. If this is unsuccessful, you will pull out of the dive at the last possible second, hoping to cause the attacker to crash into the ground. Lower the nose and begin a spiral dive to the left. Maintain a 60 degree bank angle and 10 degree nose down attitude. You have two minutes to complete the procedure. Begin now. Keep pulling that stick into your gut, cadet. Good. Good. You can level off now. You completed the spiral dive. Fly heading 210, Angels 8 at 280 knots. Fly heading 210, Angels 8 at 280 knots. Well done. Maintain 210, Angels 8 at 280 knots. Our next maneuver will be a Lazy 8. During this maneuver you will climb, turn and dive through an ever-changing range of speeds. This requires constant adjustment to the stick and attention to where you are in the maneuver. Fly straight and level then enter the maneuver. Pull back slightly on the stick and start a roll to the left. This will put you into a climbing left turn. Gradually increase the banking angle until you're in a 90 degree turn. At this point push forward on the stick to bring the nose down to start a dive and roll out of the turn into level flight. When you return to the altitude at which you started, begin a climbing turn to the right, identical to your earlier turn to the left. When you reach a 90 degree bank, start your dive and level out the wings. You should end this maneuver at the same altitude and on the same heading as when you started your first turn.
You have 90 seconds to complete the maneuver. Begin now. Good. 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 Well done. You are back on course and altitude. Fly heading 210, Angels 10 at 220 knots. Our last maneuver will be to practice a forced landing. This is when an aircraft is forced to make a landing due to technical problems, medical problems, or weather conditions. Landing as soon as possible is a priority, no matter where. A forced landing may be necessary, even if the aircraft is still flyable. This can arise to facilitate emergency medical assistance or get the aircraft on the ground before a major system failure occurs, which would force a crash landing or ditch situation. To simulate an emergency, we will shut down both engines and you will be required to glide the aircraft into a suitable landing area. Shut down both engines now. Good. Both engines are off. Now steer towards the emergency divert airfield identified in the briefing and attempt to land on the runway. I have cleared your landing attempt with the local authorities. The hard deck restriction is terminated. If you can't manage a safe landing, you are authorized to eject. Good luck.
Well done! You managed to land the aircraft safely. Okay, let's see how you have rated. For general knowledge, airmanship, and safety, you rated qualified. For pre-takeoff and takeoff, you rated qualified. For navigation and maneuvers, you rated qualified. For approach, landing, and after landing, you rated qualified. For comms and task prioritization, you rated qualified. We will end our flight here. Congratulations, you passed this PO. You received a qualified rating. Well done. Return to Batumi for the next qualification mission.